this video does contain nuts. Hello and welcome back. So I'm basically going to be showing you the best ways of earning gold and getting these new outlaw passes and the new moonshiner rolls or even some of the other rolls you don't have already except for basically the legendary or should I say not legendary but just the bounty rolls because hunting legendary bounties is a good way of making gold so obviously if you haven't got that then it's good to get that also so if you want to earn gold and you don't want to miss out on any more opportunities on making gold or tips and tricks subscribe to the channel Dean Nuts. I appreciate it massively and it also builds a great gaming community and you won't miss out on any more like I say and smash the thumbs up so my first big tip on making gold I've been doing this for months now and it's turning in treasure maps now this one there is a dream catcher tree now this spawns right next to a treasure hunter and this is a great way of earning money because it does double your chances these are not 100% spawns so basically this first method would be the best way of making gold and money but it isn't consistent enough to do that it's not 100% spawns so it isn't hands down the best way of earning gold so I'm going to put this one in first I've been posting these locations for months now if you follow me then you'll probably already know the locations and you're aware of them if you don't then there's a link in the description and I advise you to get familiar with all these locations the treasure maps on trees like I say they don't spawn on a hundred percent so if you don't find them then straight away then obviously you know they're not 100% spawns but basically the three kind of ways of doing this you can just search every location in the video and hopefully you'll find one or two on a tree or off of a treasure hunter so if you don't find one that way you can pick an area like I showed at the beginning the heartlands there's a dream catcher tree and it spawns a map on it and also there's a treasure hunter just to the right of that location so it doubles your chances of one spawning in and from there you can either do the lobby hop glitch and you would have to wait 30 seconds for the lantern next to the tree to spawn in they spawn in day and night by the way and then after 30 seconds the treasure map on the tree will spawn or the uh, treasure hunter will spawn in and you could just prod him with a knife or whatever you have available and take the map from him or if you want to be kind just buy it off of him and the last way is uh, like I say get familiar with all these locations and you can just incorporate them in with your missions um, so if you're doing like a delivery or something like that if you're collecting then get familiar with these trees and you can just do them and incorporate these trees in with your uh, collections and stuff like that just mix that up and you will no doubt find some and obviously you have to find the treasure chest once you've opened the map to actually get the gold so there's a little bit more involved but if you're looking for the treasure chest then I have a playlist on that also so check that out because they're easy to find there's four in each location uh, just don't get it mixed up with my treasure maps on trees locations okay so that's the first way of making gold and money now the second one is legendary bounties you obviously have to have the bounty roll for this so I hope that you've already bought it or got it for free somehow with the PS4 links and stuff so doing this you can wait 30 minutes after you've started up the legendary bounty and this should give you roughly maximum payout so basically you hog tie them then set the timer for 30 minutes then hand the bounty in after the timer for max rewards but some bounties you can wait up to like 12 minutes and you'll get 0 0.32 nuggets but if you wait the whole 30 minutes you'll get about 0.48 nuggets so I'll just set a timer for 30 minutes and once you've got the bounty hog tied and in a safe location on your horse and he ain't gonna get away you basically hunt if there's animals and stuff around or collect stuff you know just to keep yourself busy and maximize your profits and then you will get a good uh, payout at the end 
Hopefully the 0.48 nugget one, that would be nice, it's nearly half a gold bar right there just for doing a legendary bounty. And the third way is daily challenges and not just the daily challenge but you want to rack up a streak so even if you log in every day you're going to be building up your streak and multiplier of gold so each time you do a daily challenge it's going to give you a lot more gold than just if you were on day one so try and make it a priority just to log in every day even if it's for like 20 minutes or half hour and just smash out one of the easy ones such as catch a fish or something like that um, maybe cook a bit of meat so when you uh, skin these animals keep a bit of meat by like the gamey bird meat such as venison or something like that and then you can cook it with herbs and that's an easy challenge if you have the meat already stored or you, you can spawn in your camp now and then just cook that up real quick it'll take you like five minutes and then you've ticked off a daily challenge you don't even have to log on again and you can do that every day just rack up your daily challenges and they will pay out hefty once you get the timers um, it's just about consistency with that one now moving on to number four and this is gonna be stranger missions now you can check the screenshot I have in the description and download it for yourself and I want to thank Bukaka if you're still playing this game then hit me up and join in brother and thanks for adding this months ago on my PS4 community Dean Nuts you can also join that if you want to become friends with people or join my discord all the links are in the description so basically I'm going to be showing you a screenshot on screen right now and I'm going to be talking through how this works if you don't know so basically the first like mission is the mission name Boat Theft and you can do any one of these but I'll just show you Boat Theft as an example the mission timer says 15 minutes in the second sort of uh, column right there so that's the mission timer 15 now the third column is a 3 and a 6 now you can hand it in in under 3 minutes this will give you a gold payout of 0.32 you can see that in the next column right there under gold and if you want to hand it in in under six minutes then you'll get a gold payout of 0.24 nuggets so basically the last column just says nuggets per minute and that is two bars 0.66 nuggets so that's all the information right there just follow it I'm gonna share one bonus tip but first I want to say if you've enjoyed this smash the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new like I say you won't miss out on any more of this awesome content and it helps grow a great gaming community join my PS4 community Dean Nuts to join me in game and help make friends and also join my discord links are in the description check them out also check out the videos at the end because they're tying with this one and the links in the description videos are also the treasure maps on trees to help you find all those locations and then you'll get a good bit of gold uh, my bonus tip is it's not earning gold it's saving gold just don't waste your gold it's as simple as that I've not wasted it and basically you see how much I got I've bought the Outlaw Pass 2 and I've bought the Moonshiner roll and I've still got like 150 gold left and that's basically because I'm doing all these tips but also I'm not wasting my gold that is a massive tip also uh, just don't waste it on clothing and stuff like that try and grind out a bit of money because the money is easier to grind than gold and you can just spend money on most things um, so yeah I hope this has all been helpful to you check out some of our other videos and I'll see you on the next one take care